What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Pat Indoor Proverbs here from One End Gaming, One End Pubs, the multi cod pub stomping elite. Kicking off another special week of uploads for you guys here on our channel. Um, this is day one of the 100 plus gun streak week. Um, it is another week that we threw around doing uh, and kind of voted on doing, you know, 200 plus week or 100 plus gun streak week. Um, and here's installment one. It is by your boy Lions on the map overflow using the AN94. It is a 100 gun streak, zero deaths. So it's flawless 100 gun streak on overflow. I mean, who does this? And a little backstory to this five month break, second game on 100 plus flawless on fucking overflow. Like, I, I just, I, I have nothing else to say. Uh, you guys know the drill. If you, if you want to see more Lions, go check out his channel. Not sure if he's ever going to really grind it, you know, on, on a personal note, but he's definitely worth subbing to and following on Twitter. It's just an animal. Anyway, let's talk about something a little funny that happened. Uh, I, I do read the comments. I haven't been as up to date as I'd like to be with responding to every comment on, on every previous video. Um, which I'm going to, like, after recording this, I'm going to go respond to those on our previous video, which was a No Scavenger 90 Gun Streak by Dark, just picking up random BS weapons um, to get kills with. Someone did say, I saw, well, it's not a Hunter Gun Streak, but I guess it's pretty good. Uh, and I think it wasn't, it wasn't like a slight, like I think that was like an actual compliment. It, it is pretty, it was a sick gameplay. Um, it was not meant to be the kickoff of 100 plus week. Um, we have a lot of 100 plus flawless gun streaks going up from numerous games. It's not all going to be Black Ops 2 as much as I'm sure you want it to be and I want it to be because some of these other games, it's almost hard to watch at this point. But that being said... Now that we've covered 100 plus Gun Street Week, what you guys can expect to see, who the player is, um, let's talk about this Black Ops 3 phenomenon known as the beta. Um, I, and you know, I have to say I'm guilty as charged. I see a lot of people making Black Ops 3 videos. Um, some of them, if they're my good friends, I will go watch. Most of the time, I will just click off immediately because it's raw speculation. There is nothing to suggest that you have insider information about how the game is built um, or, or the mechanics of the game other than what we've seen so far. So, you have the beta coming up for PlayStation first, followed by Xbox and PC. Now, here's what I don't understand about the, the whole thing, right? Beta, like whoever gets exclusivity aside, this shit doesn't fucking matter. I could care less when I get to play it so long as I do. Um, what I want to know is why they didn't just release the beta at the same time for all platforms and see how their PlayStation servers reacted to that, their Xbox servers reacted to it, their PC servers reacted to it. Why would you ever partition a beta for a game? Like, I get it. Sony gets the DLC first. Good. That's fucking great. Give them the DLC first. But... You should have stress tested the game in full effect, meaning everyone should have been on at the same time. Um, you know, you want to see how your servers react to this, how your matchmaking is able to. Now, granted, I don't want you guys to misconstrue me. Sony servers and Xbox servers are two different things. However, to get a full feel for how that game's going to function and really round out the edges, they should have let the beta go on at the same time, taken all the feedback from both platforms at the same time. And that's just my stance on that. I don't really get where they were going with it, other than maybe it was an, an additional bonus perk to the exclusivity tree of uh, Sony and, and with Treyarch, I, who know with Activision. Um, you know, who knows? I'm just saying, from someone who wants, I don't really care so much about who gets exclusivity. I just want the game to succeed. I want it to be functional day one. I don't want like, oh, well, now that Xbox and Sony players are on at the same time, everything crashes. Uh, we weren't prepared for this. Well, I mean, you could have been prepared for it had you just, you know, opened it up, made it a public beta to anyone on any console or platform from the start, 
and, and I feel like you would have gotten a better idea of where you stood with where you needed to refine your game and whatnot. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed episode one. Flawless, 100 Gun Streak on Overflow by Lions, and my little rant about how they should have done things. And then, guys, stay tuned tomorrow for another insane gameplay and commentary. It's been your boy Pat and or Proverbs. Hope you guys have a great day, and take it easy.